Zack Snyder reveals new details that we sort of knew were in the discussion process years ago. And that's the fact that at one point, Justice League was going to be a six-part miniseries releasing on HBO and TV. But logistics kept this from happening. So again, this comes at us directly from Zack Snyder. He talks about the development of the Snyder Cut, the changes that happened, and just some of the uh, logistics behind it. And he said when it came to the Snyder Cut and reshaping Justice League, he originally wanted a six episode TV series to be aired and they were discussing how they would approach this, where it would go. Previously, if you guys remember years ago, there was rumors that they would release it on HBO but also on TV. And more than likely, this probably would have been like TBS or TNT or something like that. You know, one of those Warner partners. But that never happened. He reveals that essentially they came back to him and said, We understand what you're going for, but you don't understand the logistics behind this. If we make this a miniseries slash TV series, the contracts are different. Then every actor has to be paid differently, and we just can't afford that. HBO... The way that they pulled it off made sense because they could restructure it and also they were using old footage not reshooting a bunch of stuff which would then have to result in new contracts and them sort of going in a different direction. And he said that when that was brought up to him he was like okay you guys make a whole lot of sense uh I'm just gonna do what you're telling me to and we're not gonna go the way I think it should be handled. Which again shows you that a lot of times directors and I'm not just saying this as a knock on Zack Snyder because a lot of directors have said things like this they don't understand the bigger picture and the logistics because they're not in that camp right they're not dealing with the financials and all these minor contracts and things and they don't know up until it's brought up you know we talked about James Gunn for example he would write in characters that were owned by Fox hand it in they're like Gunn we told you before no they're owned by Fox and he goes sorry forgot um swap somebody in but sometimes they were able to work something out like when they got ego who was owned by fox in exchange for a couple characters for deadpool so it works out in the end so this happens more frequently than not i've talked to somebody who's written quite a few scripts and has worked on content on netflix and hulu and the logistics of trying to lock down something for a series that's very popular that was only in one scene and I don't want to reveal what it is because it might give away some details and people could go to the credits. They said it took three weeks, three weeks of dealing with lawyers to get one thing into one scene that was there for maybe five seconds tops. And when I saw it, I literally contacted him and said, this is it. This is what took three weeks. And he was like, believe it or not, that took me three weeks to get a hold of. I couldn't believe it. And if you guys knew what I was talking about, you would be shocked because it's the dumbest thing. But it took three weeks. Three weeks of lawyers getting paid to figure out the logistics of maybe a five-second scene. This is more common than you expect. Oh.